I like kind of seeing him start into his shadow boxing in slow motion because you see the you see the switch turn a little bit. With just oh, with fighters uh, from the golden age that we get to film in slow motion, I am watching them not in slow motion. I'm watching them just in real time as we're filming this. It takes like two minutes to film, and we get maybe eight minutes out of it. Um, but I f get so obsessed with watching their feet. Um, they're like dancers. Like you can see exactly how they balance themselves, how they organize themselves. This rotation of his body on that cross. And you can see how his power just comes up through that knee. Like you can actually watch how he's generating his power in slow motion like this. You see how he's kind of like tracking with his eyes, like he's seeing something in front of him while he's shadow boxing. This is so important uh, when when fighters from the Golden Age talk about the importance of shadow boxing in their development and in their careers. Um, it wasn't meaningless. Like not only did they shadow box way more than people do now, but it's very intentional. You can see the purpose of that arm whip on that kick. I think a lot of times we're taught how to do a technique, like to throw the arm or to, you know, do this while you're while you're generating power somewhere else, and you don't really know why. Like someone maybe tells you it, it makes it faster or something, but you can actually see how coming up on the toe puts the trajectory of the knee a certain way, or how like ripping across his face changes that kick. Everything flows, like when he's coming off of something, he's immediately stepping to something else. It's not fast, but it is very smooth, like continuous. Coming down off of that fake, coming off of this knee, like he's never off balance. He's never like correcting off of something. He knows where he is and he's over his feet all the time. I love that at 50 years old, he does still train people, but he's not training fighters. Like he's not like active in the same way that he was as a fighter. Nobody at this age is. The parts that you see that are so beautiful, this weight transfer, this continuity, this generating of power from certain angles and twists and like coming up on the toe, those are the parts you never forget. Those are the parts that are never wrong. The softness of his hands. And in his face, you can see how he feels some of those weapons. Like you can feel that knee. See that line coming up from his foot. so gentle there's no excess tension like there's no tension where it doesn't need to be and his weapons are literally coming from one to the next that block to knee to elbow And his feet do come together at times as he's like bouncing back into place or like starting the next movement. Yodpumpan does that a lot. His feet come together when he's kind of like bouncing in place to move into something. He's just so relaxed. The way he steps into that teeth, like he's just walking into it. There's no like, I'm now setting up my thing. <laughs> it's set up by something that was also beautiful, that was also effective.
thing. Maybe it's like um, when you watch fighters of this caliber who have that many years of experience and training, it's, um, it's like calligraphy. It's like cursive where everything just kind of like flows to the next thing. And you know the word, you're writing, you're writing the word script, and so you know how it's all gonna go before you lift your pen off. Whereas I think, for me even, I have a lot of experience, but even at my point, I'm, I still print, I still have like block letters at times where I'm like lifting my pen, even on a single letter. I also love when they transition out of their shadow in slow motion. You really get to see the personality. <laughs> Kevin said that he could feel like in space, he could feel Lamna Moon's kind of violence in the world. Like it's not a, oh, this is a little kid, he's so sweet, but you kind of feel off of some fighters. He's very like, he has a dignity and a like, um, the way he occupies space in the world is very notable.